Alex, get your butt in here so we can finish. Oh, Lizzie, your language. Come on. Ugh, I thought the bride was supposed to be the bossy one, uh, Okay, do you want my help or not? Yeah, I just don't know. I... Well, okay, about the dress. All right, wait. Look at yourself. You are going to have half the men in Springfield kicking themselves, wondering how they let you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's okay, right? Oh, yeah, it's totally okay. Like? Oh, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Uh, okay, so are you absolutely positive that you don't want to wait until Granddad gets back from his trip? Oh, well, when you see his face, when he realizes that married the show for you, will understand exactly why, dear. So, look, I, I, I look decent. <laughs> if this is how you look when you look decent, you must positively blind men when you're oh. at your best. And what are you doing here? Well, I heard Alan wasn't around, so I thought maybe you needed somebody to give you away. And you're applying for the job? If it's open, oh. it would be an honor to accept. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd they get this photo of me? Ah. Mystery man to wed Spalding Baroness. She really a Baroness? Oh, that's what they say. Does that make you a Baron? I don't think it works that way. How'd they even find out? She's Alexandra Spalding. It's a big deal. It's a green card wedding. It's not like we sent out announcements or invites. Well, maybe you didn't. What does that mean? I called over to Towers to make dinner reservations. They were all booked out for a wedding. A Spalding wedding. Towers? Mm -hmm. Swankiest place in town. So much for your low-key justice of the peace sort of deal. Oh, I wouldn't read too much into it. It'll still be small. But Alex is a Spalding. She can't just get married any old place, not if she wants to make it look real. It'll still be very informal. Hey, your tuxedo, sir. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, oh, yeah. Check this out. It's very informal talks. How much do you think this thing runs? Five grand? I can't wear my chauffeur's uniform. What do you expect? I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. Well, I thought it wasn't supposed to be a big deal. It isn't. Does the bride know? Yes. The only people we need to fool are the good folks at immigration. And maybe your father, for good measure. Alex knows that. Okay. Looks like she's trying to conveniently forget, well, if you if, ask me. If you're so worried about I'm it. I'm not I'm worried. Making... I'm saying maybe you should be worried. I'm not. How about you meet me here afterwards? You're going to spend your wedding night with me. I know I said we'd go out, but why don't we start the evening a little more privately? Oh, well, it's fine by me, Mr. Spaulding. You know, I wish I'd known about this wedding sooner, because I have a whole lot of stuff left over from my close but no cigar wedding with Olivia. So. Oh, okay, um, hand-me-downs from a failed wedding? What? Yeah, no. no. Oh, Buzz, come on. I watched that train wreck between you and Olivia. I watched it in slow motion as it crashed and burned, just like everything else Olivia touched. Honey, it takes two. Well, she was lucky to have you. She was, wasn't mm. she? But look at you. You're all grown up now with your own young man, your own very young man. Buzz! <laughs> I'm not questioning. Mm. What are you, conflicted? Oh, maybe a oh, bit. Is this when I should leave the room, or was that five minutes ago? Hmm. Stay if you have the stomach for it, dear. You just might learn something. <laughs> now, about your conflict, go ahead. Well, uh, my granddaughter and Cyrus sort of had this uh, thing, you know. I don't know exactly what it was, but you know. I know about that thing. Whoa, how much of a thing? You okay with that? This wedding, this marriage, is simply a favor. A favor to Cyrus? To help him with his immigration. It's a green card wedding? Yeah, for a friend. Well, you know, funny, because Lillian doesn't seem to think so. She thinks Wait, what did she say? Oh, come on, you know Lillian. You know, <laughs> she's got a wild... <laughs> Lillian thinks that you care more about this wedding than you're giving out. 
And you do know Lily, and you know what a hopeless romantic she is. And in this case, she is hopelessly wrong. A lot of flowers. Lots of chairs. I better find the bride. All these. What are you doing here, Dad? Well, I am the chief of police. No, just stop, so. okay? We both know why you're here. Then why did you ask? Because you're practically gloating. I know you told me that you couldn't wait for Cyrus to get the sniff of the Spalding money, that he'd sink his claws in and he'd never be able to walk away. I take no pleasure in seeing my little girl hurt. But it's better to hurt a little now than a lot later. It's kind of an all-in-one gift. It's from my wedding to Jonathan, so it's pretty new. And you're borrowing it from me because I want it back. Oh, it's very convenient, and it's blue. <laughs> and it could be old, too, because, you know, what happened between me and Jonathan I feel like a lifetime ago. Sweetheart, I promise you, you will find real love. But Cyrus, the bride, is not allowed to see the groom. Oh, no, it's wait. okay. I Let it be important. Pass. Yeah, it's important enough. <laughs> see you later. You look great. Well, you look very handsome yourself. I see the tux fit brilliantly. I thought we were going to keep things simple, Baroness. <laughs> well, for me, this is simple. I love to spend it, and uh, who doesn't love a party? Are you maybe taking things a bit more seriously than we discussed? Well, I did get word that your immigration harpy might show up at the wedding. I thought we should look, well, really good. So it's all about legitimacy? Yes, of course. But I'm sorry if you're uncomfortable. No, no, not at all. I just want to make sure we understand each other. Oh, we do. Of course we do. Thank you. 